friends welcome back to another video it feels like i haven't recorded in a while um i did take a break like a week break which was nice i did post a short so you can check that out if you want but it feels like a while since i've done a, a voiceover um so this week's video is a little more chill and that's not to say that the piece that i made in this video it took a long time like three hours <laughs> but when edited and you know like speed paintings are shorter the video turned out to be much shorter which is okay that's fine you know short videos that's okay so a few probably months ago or so or actually more like one month ago i don't even remember the last time i put out my first digital painting video that was before i had the apple pen but i just bought the apple pen finally i've been waiting to get it because it's expensive and but yeah, anyway, I got it. And so I've been really enjoying using it. And I was like, let me let me take another try at digital painting. Let's just try it again. Because last time it was an okay experience, but I, I felt like I was very limited because I didn't have the Apple Pen. I didn't have like the, app, uh, the pressure sensitivity. So I just opened up Procreate, started off with doing a few warm-up sketches um i've still been trying to figure out like what brushes i like um to use right now i i'm really like sketching with the um 6b pencil but um i don't know i kind of like more tapered brushes so i kind of play around with that one and then i think there's one called like the derwent pencil that i like too um and then the dry ink brush that one is one of my favorites i use it like for all my thumbnails i love it so much the texture is really good i don't use it as much for drawing but for doing like little elements um you know cute stuff like that it has a lot of great texture so i was trying to figure out what to make because i knew i wanted to do a girl but i was trying to figure out like a pose and so i couldn't really figure anything else so i was like let me just start you know sometimes that's like the best way to start and so i started and at first the proportions were kind of whack like she's supposed to kind of be looking down and she has a much more round face than i usually draw and at first i was like this doesn't really look proportionally correct but it's okay we're just gonna roll with it um so yeah started that then started the underpainting now i think the underpainting for some reason is always like the awkward stage for me that one stage when you kind of feel like you want to quit because you know i had like all the colors on i was trying to figure out the colors and it looks really messy and so it's kind of i kind of had this one thought these thoughts keep popping up i was like i don't even know if i want to finish this it looks so bad so i was like okay i have to push through this is just the awkward stage um and so i was looking at a reference of super like bronzed skin i think it was like a blush ad which is why the blush on this character is so intense and pink because that's how it was on the model on the ad um and she had a very like bronzed um skin tone so i was like i kind of want to copy that and it looked really good with the blush color so um yeah i started off with like the darkest color of um like undertone of her skin if that makes sense and then build up highlights and shadows and stuff which was kind of tricky probably like the trickiest part was building up shadows and highlights um and then i did the eyes which was probably like my favorite part because i think once you do the eyes it just brings it all together um and so i realized i wanted to put more like pink into the drawing so i put a lot of pink in her hair and like on the line art and i actually had a pretty fun time like you guys know digital art is not my favorite i'm still learning and yeah not not my favorite yet but this is how it turned out this is the first version um this is the second version a little darker but overall guys i would say this it turned out really great like i'm really proud of it and that's kind of a big thing for me because i'm not always like the most proud of my artwork but i think i'm getting there like nothing can ever um replace traditional art definitely not but i think i'm starting to really enjoy doing painting so yeah i hope you guys liked um let me know like any tips that you guys have hope you guys are having a lovely weekend and i will see you guys in the next video bye